angels welcome back i hope that you all had a really good week uh, first and foremost before we get into this week's reading i just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart and with my partner as well i want to thank you all for the love the messages the comments the emails and thanking you know uh thanking you guys for all your blessings for us and our little baby on the way us and a little bump um so i just wanted to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for that um a lot of you was asking about what, what was saying what you think the gender is i think it's a boy um we find out soon but some of you said girl most of you said boy i'm with boy i'm i'm team boy um but we'll find out soon not long to go and um, so what we're going to do this week is what are their emotions for you just so you guys know as well i am away this weekend um in glastonbury for the solstice i get back on the 23rd well, I start work again on the 23rd. So if you want to book anything, there's not really going to be any delay in me getting it back to you. I just want you to know that my out of office is going to be on for a couple of days. So if it takes me a while to respond to you, just kind of bear that in mind for me. Okay, going to go and climb up the tour and go to the wells and go and see my friends down there as well. Okay, so what is your person's emotions for you? Now, with the kind of theme of solstice, we're going for the Celtic deck. So we've got deck number one and deck number two two of my favourite decks and with my um <clears throat> with me being druid as well I love doing the Celtic decks deck number one deck number two so think about your person and as you're thinking about your person <clears throat> sorry I've got really bad allergies as you're thinking about your person feel that heart-centered emotions towards it and push it into the deck that you are most drawn to so deck number one and deck number two Okay, let's do this. So deck number one, what is your person's emotions for you? So as always, we work from the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. We look going to all your energy, all your people's energy, and we pull out that strongest energy between you all. A bit like how you did the average of maths at school when they were going to say, oh, here's a bunch of numbers, what's the average? And you'd go and add all the numbers up and pull out the, the uh, average number is how we work but we work with energy and when I say we I mean me and my guides okay think about your person that's going to play some thoughts feelings energy emotions thought processes do out of breath and all <laughs> possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes because I've kept it hidden from you guys for so long now I feel like I can be myself and when I'm running out of breath like <laughs> can't stop weeing either cannot stop weeing okay Right, let's do this. So, what is that person feeling about them? Okay, so the first thing that's coming up, and I don't know how you guys remember this, but I've got that song by, how many of you guys remember this? All Saints, Take Me to the Beach. Do you remember that film, The Beach? I think it came out in the 90s. I haven't heard that song in years. I'm going to have to listen to it. So with that energy kind of coming up, I don't really specifically remember the lyrics, but I know it says I'm coming, I hear you calling me, um, somewhere out of reach, take me to the beach. So straight away, we've got this kind of energy of movement coming towards you. Oh, what are their feelings and their emotions for deck number one? So there are very, very strong feelings here, very, very strong feelings, very, very strong emotions, a very strong sense of love. And Spirit is saying with that, there's also a very strong sense of purpose. So your person has got these beautiful, beautiful emotions for you. Just sometimes they don't really know how to handle it. Uh, some of you guys, your circumstances are a little bit more complicated as well, which is what can cause this bit of divide between you guys and if you don't know <clears throat> that your situation is complicated that's because it's not your mutual energy if you do know that your situation is complicated that is aimed at you okay so if you don't know about it and you're like what do you mean it's complicated then it, it's not about you okay those that are in the more complicated situations know about it so your person and their emotions for you. There is a very, very strong sense of purpose here. There is a very, very strong sense of love. Now, if they are with someone else, and again, this is what we mean, some of the complications, you will know about it. If you don't, just ignore this bit. There looks to be an ending coming up with the person that they are with. So endings, divorces, things coming to a close, okay? Court battles, deceptions ending as well. Okay, um, <clears throat> really struggling with me allergies. So we have that kind of on the sideline. Now, that's like I said, that's not all of you. That is some of you guys that the situation is just a little bit more complex than um, the average kind of relationship. 
However, when we take a sideline and we take a step back from that, the emotions that, that you guys share, the love that you share, the connection that you share, the energy that the two of you share, the vibration of your energy that the two of you share is very, very strong, very good dynamics between you guys. You do really, really love each other. We have this kind of movement coming forward from your person. So we know at the start we got that song about the beach and we we're talking about movement. Well, here is your man woman in shining armor kind of coming towards you okay this person has these very strong emotions for you that looks like there is going to be communication happening about their feelings about their emotions for you they are going to talk to you about how they're feeling okay blue symbolizing the communication they've wanted to talk to you about their feelings a few times but it's like they backed out of it they got a little bit scared they got a little bit worried and again some of this is in reflection to stuff that's happened in their past so if your person's already been divorced or gone through a really tough breakup and things have been very very difficult perhaps there was a sense of betrayal happening in their past this is what's blocked them talking to you about their emotions doesn't mean they don't feel them they're just not very good at talking about them so we have this movement coming in from them coming towards you strong stable movement and this uh, strong stable movement is based on love and it's based on emotions we also have a bunch of little fishes over here and kind of coming back to the druidry um <clears throat> when we look at salmons or when we look at fishes this is definitely a card of wisdom and it's also a card of rebirth so your connection with your person is going to be going through this kind of rebirthing okay really strong emotions really strong feelings and there does feel to be this need to, to talk about them and to communicate about them your person is going to tell you how they feel what are they going to tell you when they talk to you about their feelings they're going to tell you <clears throat> coming back to this card of kind of wisdom and rebirth they're going to say to you you know i've had a bit of a wake-up call i have these really strong feelings for you i have these really strong emotions for you i'm sorry that potentially i've been a bit of an idiot i didn't really know how to handle it because of stuff that's happened in my past or slash depending on your situations um because the situation has been really complicated i haven't known how to handle it but now there's this kind of wake-up call happening where they will talk to you about their emotions <laughs> If you're wondering if they're watching you on social media, that is also a yes. Some of you guys, this kind of communication is going to happen through the internet. So it's going to happen through Facebook, Instagram, social media, rather than through a text message, a normal text message, WhatsApp also. Communication is going to be coming through that. And um, also your person has been watching what you've been up to on social media. So if you've been sitting there thinking, I don't know, I haven't heard from them for a while. I don't know if they've even thinking about me or if they're watching my social media. The answer is yes, they are. And there is this need again for communication happening between you both. Your person really does want to talk to you. They've had this bit of a, some of you guys, they've had a bit of a freedom from you. They've had a bit of space, a bit of downtime, a bit of quiet time. And through that downtime space and quietness, this is what's made them want to communicate with you a little bit more. They want to talk to you about how they feel. They've realised a little bit of what life is like without you. And there's also this kind of cross to bear spirit saying, they realise that they haven't handled this very well. They have these emotions for you and they want the connection to work and to bond and to grow. How cute is that where else we're going with this we have got futures okay we've got very very strong futures and we over here we have the pregnant lady okay we've got futures it is also the wheel of fortune breaking out of the cycle we have the world over here as well so both the wheel and the world talking about a cycle that you guys have been involved in whether it being the ten of cups coming up to the side this is talking about breaking out of the cycle that you guys have been involved in Things changing, things turning into your favour, breaking the wheel, breaking the chain and coming together. Okay, the 10 always symbolising endings and new beginnings. Do watch out for 10 tens if you start seeing them around. So showing that you're getting ready for the next chapter with your person. Very, very strong feelings, very, very strong emotions. And again, this kind of sense of wisdom, what you've learned with this connection. Very, very wise connection over here. Definitely a uh, spiritual connection. Most likely you've had past lives together as well. Um, if you need me to look at your past lives, I do do that in readings. You can go and have a look at the website or you can drop me an email and I'll talk to you all about it. Uh, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. So again, we've kind of got this sense of freedom. We've got this sense of where things have been with you guys, where this kind of sticky, stucky energy over here has been with you guys. is coming to a close and we've got these new beginnings. 
breaking out of the cycle and planning into the future. Definitely see houses, babies, families, children. Again, that's kind of the same as babies, but it could be kids they've already got. Um, love, connection, weddings, anything you particularly want. You have all these tools in your um, in your toolbox, Spirit is saying. You have all these tools in your tool. tool, tool. That was a bit stuffy, kind of. Stew, that's where I live. Uh, you have them in your toolbox, toolbox. Um, okay, you have everything there. You have everything that you need for this connection. And there's also this sense of protection coming up with this as well. Okay, lots of protection going on. Lots of kind of ancestry coming forward with you guys as well. Your ancestors are kind of wanting this connection to work with you guys. They like the connection with you guys. They know that it's a more divine connection. Um, and normal earthly people would say, well, you know what? It's probably not the right one for you uh, because this happened and that happened. They're just looking out for you. Um, but your ancestors and psychic, psychically, this connection can really, really work with you both. Okay, it can really work. There is a future over here. Um, try not to get trapped in your own mind over this. Okay, we have a bit of mind trapping going on where your thoughts are kind of running away with you, getting a little bit more negative, um, all these thoughts that you've been having about the connection, you've been feeling like it's the blind leading the blind, you don't know what pathway you're taking, um, but that's kind of the fun of it a little bit, because over here we have like all the OM um, um, at the bottom, all the trees, the language of the trees, um, we have all that knowledge, and again, wisdom, you don't really need to know what direction it's going in, because your ancestors and spirits and loved ones, helpers and guides are guiding you on this pathway. So you don't really need to know where it's heading, just knowing that it is heading in the direction that you want. You know, you don't have to control it, just having kind of faith that is moving in your favour. This cycle with you guys is coming to a close and this new cycle can begin. So your post person's emotions for you and their feelings for you are very, very strong very very strong the future of the two of you is also very very strong and there is going to be communication about their emotions what their emotions are <clears throat> is really love really really heart-centered energy heart-centered love um heart-centered connection um heart-centered bond and again with this kind of soulmate twin flame divine <clears throat> divine dynamic between you guys it's all there for the taking it's all there Stepping away from shitty things that have happened in the past, stepping away from all the difficult times um, and moving towards a much more phenomenal future with you, wanting all of this and taking a step back and thinking, you know, this was all in the past, that I'm ready to let the past go and moving forward into the future. What's going to create the shift in them wanting this? Time. <clears throat> like I said, kind of having that sense of perhaps you guys took a step back from it and it... <clears throat> really losing my voice if you guys took a step back for it, from it and that they have that sense of freedom okay because really they didn't want it they thought they did and now that they're missing you they're like well actually you know what I do really want to see how they're doing how you guys are getting on because I miss you and that is deck number one okay my beauties I'm sending tons of love to you I have an absolutely blessed week and many many solstice blessings your way I will speak to you upon my routine um, and if you need me again, just drop me an email. My out of office is going to go on on Friday till Tuesday or Wednesday. I want to say I can't think of the dates, um, but just drop me a message because I will be there and I will respond on my return. Um, I'm sending lots of love to you all. Goddess blessings. Ciao. Okay, guys, deck number two. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, just want to thank you all for all your messages, your love, your blessings and your support with the news of the pregnancy. Thank you all so much. It's really the world to me. Um, you're all absolutely adorable and I love you all to pieces. So thank you from the bottom of mine and my partner's heart. We were sitting there reading through all the comments the other night and he was like, oh, isn't that lovely? So, yeah, thanks. Okay, um, so let's think about your person for me. Go to the pips and thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. I am losing my voice a little bit if I start uh, kind of my voice going a little bit. I've been talking a bit too much today. <laughs> I've also got allergies as well. So the allergies are really triggering this kind of throat energy. My throat chakra, I need to put a turquoise necklace on. Okay, what is that person feeling about them watching deck number two? What 
is their person feeling about them? Spirit and muttering away. That's why I just went a little bit quiet over here. We've got a bit of a mix up of energy with you guys. You're all at quite different stages in your connection. So we're kind of getting a playlist of a bunch of different songs, um, but you are all at different stages. So the mutual song, and I'm just asking Spirit to give us a mutual song on it, is... Um, I can't remember who sang this. I want to say it was, um, no, I haven't got a clue. There will be miracles if you believe. So there is um, a little bit of a lacking of faith in this connection at the moment. It has been quite challenging. Spirit saying there's been challenging times and you feel as if everything's got very, very difficult between you guys. You don't know if you're coming or going. It's almost as if you don't know whether you're tying your shoelaces before you leave the house. There is this heavy energy surrounding both of you and the connection that the two of you share. It's difficult. It's not so easy. Um, you've been waiting, riding time out, saying, is something going to happen? Is it going to move into my favour? But you've had this very, very difficult energy coming up with you guys and you're feeling as if you're kind of banging your head against a brick wall at the moment because it's like this yeah you don't really know what's going on don't really know what direction you're going in and so your mutual song there will be miracles if you believe is really talking to you all about keeping your faith okay yes it's a hard situation yes it is difficult but there is a love that the two of you share now your person and their emotions for you they're quite burdened by their emotions at the moment they know what you want from the situation. They know that you want to be with them. They know that you want to love them until eternity. They know that you want this marriage, this connection, this bonding, and um, also the good sex that you two share. They know that you want it all. But at the same time, at the moment, they're not quite ready to give it to you. And that's why you're banging your head against a brick wall, because you know this person has feelings for you. You know this person has emotions for you, but at the same time, it's kind of this stoppy, starty energy. And Spirit just showed me a car with um, the clutch, you know, how you move forward and then you store your car and then you have to restart it. It's a bit like that with the connection with you guys. You'll make headway with it and then all of a sudden that headway kind of goes away a little bit and you're having to start again. There's a lot of stuff going on with you guys. There is this feeling of feeling fed up and sadness and heaviness and your person is also in the same energy. It's like at this point in time, they're not giving you the commitment that you want, okay? Doesn't mean they don't love you. It doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you. It's just that they are not committing to you at this moment. So why aren't they committing? Let's see what's going on. What is the main reason for them not committing to debt number two? Okay, some of you guys, they're just not ready. Some of you guys, they're looking for something that is a bit more sexual than emotional. Um, some of you guys, they have been not telling you the complete God's honest truth about things. Um, and again, this is, looks to be stuff that is related to their past. Okay, so past energy coming up over here. Um, there's a lot of fear energy going on with them as well. Pick With what those list of stuff that Spirit have just given, whatever resides, resides? resonates with you is the one that you'll be looking at as to why they haven't um been giving you what it is that you want very strong ones energy coming up over here very strong passionate energy sometimes the sexual energy between you guys overrules the emotional energy okay and this is another reason why they're not giving you what it is that you want at the moment it's not to say they haven't got feelings for you it's just that they are not giving you that commitment right now there's kind of lots of threes happening all around you. So threes um, symbolizing the alignment of energies a lot of the time. Three is a very important number in all faiths, not just uh, Druidry. There's, three is a very important number in all faiths, um, in, in religion, religion, in Christian faith, in Druidry, in Wiccan, in everything that you do. The three is the really important number. So this is signifying with all these kind of threes coming up into your energy. This is a very strong divine connection with you guys. And that is why it can be a bit more complicated. Wouldn't be surprised if you guys are twin flames, false twin flames, got a lot of baggage, got a lot of complications. It's kind of difficult between you both. Now, they their emotions for you are there. 
they're feeling a little bit sorry for themselves as well let's just talk about that for a second over here they're feeling a little bit sorry for themselves and um, because they know that they want to be with you they know that this connection is something that they're probably never going to feel with anyone else but they are scared really scared of giving you that commitment at this moment in time so they're sitting here and feeling a little bit sorry for themselves as well and again, kind of coming back to why they won't commit. Again, you're all at very different stages. They're just not ready. That is the main thing going on. They are just not ready. They do have feelings for you. They do have emotions for you. They do know that they love you. They're not going to tell you probably that they love you. And if they do, it's going to be a little bit like, well, I love you, but we can't really be together at the moment and coming up with a bunch of excuses. Um, the reason for that is because they're trying to self-preserve at the moment they're not really ready to talk about emotions and to talk about feelings just at this point in time okay now the connection again very very divine connection with the rainbow going over the top the rainbow always signifies a um the cross between our world and the next you can telepathize with your person okay so you can speak to them on the fifth dimension if that is something that you're interested in doing do have a youtube on how to telepathy uh something that's always really good is creating those energy balls when you're rubbing your hands together building the ball up and then whispering in it your short message and throwing it up to the universe really good way of doing telepathy um other ways you can do it is by going into their energy visualizing them seeing them uh, blowing on the nose or their ears um, and passing the message whispering it through to their ear so you can telepathy with your person if you do do it keep it in love keep it in light and keep it short okay something like call me miss you love you something like that the longer the message the lot more it's going to get lost in translation okay so you can telepathize with your person with this being a more divine connection with you guys they're looking back to the memories that the two of you share. This relationship's probably been going backwards and forwards for quite some time. Um, also with that, you know, past energies coming up, past energies reflecting on when they were kids, that maybe things went wrong within the family home. Also feel that there can be a bit of escapism happening with deck number two as well, whether it's alcohol, drugs, partying, enjoying themselves. Um, but they haven't forgotten you, okay? Forget me not really coming up into my energy over here. I'm just getting iris by the Goo Goo Dolls as we're saying that as well. Your person does love you. Uh, the energy is very heavy and very sad around you guys at the moment because they're just not giving you what it is that they want but for looking purely at their emotions their emotions are very very heart-centered based how else do they see you how else do they they feel these emotions for you they see you as this light in darkened times they're feeling quite alone they can be a bit of a hermit on occasions as well you know um they don't really think that many people understand them and even their family and their friends are trying to influence their connection um with them try and influence how they live their life they um don't feel that family and friends really understand them they know that you are the person that does understand them and the reason why they know that is because it is higher dimensional okay where it's going with you guys you've got potential over here with you happening with it happening with you both you both see some things you both want the same thing but you're both at kind of different stages with it all at this point in time and that's not to say it won't happen or it can't happen it's just a bit of a delay on it all july is being highlighted for some of you guys as an important month which is next month it's only a couple of weeks away now um as quite an important month in the communication happening with you guys um with regard to their emotions and the connection like i said there is a love with you both um they're just feeling a little bit sorry for themselves and not committing to you right now they do have feelings for you and um, sometimes those feelings will come forward as more of a sexual energy because 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 heart-centered energy can make them feel vulnerable sexual energy is sometimes easier to talk about than it is to talk about well you know what i'm totally and utterly in love with you and i just don't know how to give you that commitment at this moment in time like i said will they ever com commit to you we did a reading on that last week you can go check it out but we have this movement coming in of communication very strong communication movement coming in uh, where they will talk to you about where it's heading what's going on is there a way to make it work they are burdened by the situation at the moment. They haven't, if you're not in contact, they haven't forgotten you. They are thinking about you probably more than what you would ever care to think. You know, and it, again, it's something that's been going on for a long time with you guys. You can't just cut a connection like that. You can't just cut it. No matter how much you want to, your person will still be thinking about you and still thinking about their emotions for you. Um, 
they're just struggling at the moment to find a way to make it work. But when that communication comes in, you can have an honest and open conversation on where this is going. How do they feel? They love you. They do love you, but they're also scared shitless. And that's why they're not giving you that commitment that you want at the moment. Okay, and that is deck number two. All right, my beauties. Well, have an absolutely incredible solstice. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the longest day of the year. Also, my birthday. Uh, my mum, when she was pregnant with me, went and climbed the Glastonbury Tour. And then I was uh, 10 days late and was like, I'm being born on the solstice. Uh, this year, I am also climbing the tour, obviously, with the, the baby, little baby inside of me as well. Um, baby's due at the end of November, little Sagittarius baby, but it would be interesting to see what the astrology is after we've climbed the tour. So going to be doing that on Monday, going down there in the early hours in the morning to do the pagan drumming and to watch the sunrise happen. Um, also going to the goddess temple um, and there's a new temple opening up called the Temple of Avalon that I have early access to because I am totally blessed. Uh, so I'm going to go see my priestess friend who's uh, going to do a, a blessing while we're there. Going to go to the wells, have some natural healing waters um, and also do some shopping. I broke, uh, I had this beautiful incense burner which works with sand like an incense vaporizer um, and I totally smashed it the other day and I, you can only buy them in Glastonbury so I could get another one of them um, and probably spend far too much money on stuff that I just totally love uh, but I cannot wait. Really excited. So have a totally blessed solstice. Enjoy bringing that, summer, uh, that sun god into your life and the sun goddess into your life um, as the days are at the longest. All right, my angels, take care. Goddess blessings. Ciao.